All right, what we're going to be looking at today is the horizontal line test. This is a very handy feature that can be used to help you determine if a function is one-to-one. -one. It can also be used to determine if a function has an inverse that is also a function. So I've got two examples set up here. My first one, f of x equals x squared. All right, I chose this one, that, that standard parabola, upright, no shifting, the vertex is going to be at zero, zero, so that we can easily sketch this and see what it looks like. So I'm going to sketch my original f of x, upright parabola, all right, and really just a rough sketch because I don't need to be very accurate with this. All right, now I'm going to apply the horizontal line test. Horizontal line test says that I'm going to draw a horizontal line anywhere crossing this function. All right, if it crosses in more than one spot, it has failed the horizontal line test. And we can easily see no matter where I draw that horizontal line, it's going to fail because it's going to cross the function in more than one spot. All right, now so from that, I can conclude that f of x is not one-to-one. -one. All right, I can also conclude that f of x does not have an inverse function. Now, that's not to say that it doesn't have an inverse. It just doesn't have an inverse that is also a function. All right, if we want to review just a little bit, all right, taking a look at, well, what does the inverse of this function look like? All right, if you recall, a function and its inverse should be a reflection over the y equals x line. So if I do a rough little sketch here, putting that y equals x line in, so that we can just kind of get a feel for this, all right, that clearly is the y equals x line. All right, now if I were to reflect f of x across that, again, just a rough sketch here, it's going to look something roughly like that, horizontal parabola. All right, now it clearly has a inverse. That inverse is just not a function because it would fail the vertical line test, which determines whether or not a relation is a function. All right, so then let's make a special little note down here on this example. All right, let's put a little star. The inverse does exist. but it is not a function. Okay, to clarify the difference there. Okay, now taking a look at our second example here, we've got f of x equals x to the third. Again, I picked a relatively easy one that we could sketch just to get an idea of how this is going to work. Okay, so we know again our x to the third, it's not shifted away from the origin, there's no flipping or anything going on, so just a really rough sketch of x to the third is going to look something like that. All right, now I'm going to apply the horizontal line test. So anywhere I draw a horizontal line, all right, if I draw it all the way up here, it will cross the function in only one spot. If I move down here somewhere, I draw another one, it's only going to cross the function in one spot. Okay, so from that, I can conclude that f of x is one to one. All right, I also can conclude that f of x does have an inverse function. All right, its inverse is a function. So there's two examples of how you might apply the horizontal line test. Uh, using a rough sketch of a function that you might be able to do.